you lived in this neighborhood, you'd know all about airplanes. You'd know the exact wingspan of the latest super transonic hyperstrata cruiser. You could identify the XB-303 at 20,000 feet. You'd know all about dihedral angles and cold fronts and wind drifts. And you'd know Mach numbers better than the multiplication tables. And the reason you'd know all this stuff, oh, there's the reason right now. Roger Winsock, the airplane kid, known on Shady Lane as the boy aeronaut, who's always looking up instead of where he's going. His father says he's air-minded, but neighbors call him plain crazy. That was Roger Winsock, right on the beat. There goes the airplane chaser. Must be Roger Winsock. Winsock's a little screwball. Never looks where he's going. In school, Roger studied reading, writing, and aerodynamics. Hey, fellas, look. I just built this new Jato dihedral turbo prop. It's got a 15G pullout. Uh, let's play baseball, Raj. Nothing but airplanes mattered to Roger. He thought about them night and day. But most of all, he loved to hang around the airport and watch the big airplanes take off and land. One day, Roger saw a very special airplane. Yipe! What a skybuster! It's the spirit of the air age. What's it like to fly way up in the sky? Jiminy, do you really mean it? I wish I could fly. Oh, my gosh, wings. I've got wings. Maybe I can fly. I've got wings. I've got wings. Hey, fellas, look at me. Wings. Get a load of wind sock. He's got wings. Hey, Rod, let's see you fly with them wings. He talks so much about airplanes, he's beginning to look like one. Feed into the wind, Rod. Stand clear, men. Ho oh, ho! Like a bird, Winsock! Just like a bird! What a landing, Raj! Yeah, he's got wings okay, but he can't fly! What good are your wings, Raj? You can't fly with them! Roger's got wings, but he can't fly! Wings, but you can't fly! You can't fly! Can't fly! Can't fly! Can't fly. Those wings are not for flying, Roger. They're wings for your imagination. The kind of wings that created the air age. They'll show you a new world. Wowee! Every kind of plane in the world. Old ones, new ones, big and small. And even the Wright Brothers' flying machine. Maybe those fellas had wings like mine. Sorta. Okay, Wilbur. Let her go! We We've done it! Yes, Roger, as men learned to fly farther and higher, airplanes became bigger and faster. An Air Force training plane. Jiminy, if I could only fly one of those. Okay, Winsock, this is your day. Take over. Over, Winsock. Thank you, sir. Observe.
Oliver Winsock reporting. I see something strange. I am going down and have a look at it. It's a fire. It's straying from Grizzly Bear Ridge, south by west 12 miles. The best way to get in is by the Eagle Beak Fire Break. Fine job, Winsock. We've saved the forest. The job's not done yet, sir. We've got a free forest for you. Reporting. Sighted survivor. Save same. Hello. Hey, you windshot bug busters. The old leaf eaters are ruining my crops. Don't worry about a thing, Mr. Haystack. I'll be right over. <laughs> What a beautiful day for a swim. Not a cloud in the sky. The firm of Flegel, 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 Flegel and Winsock is on the brink of ruin. If we're not in San Francisco by five o'clock with a new contract, we'll lose the business. With the company plane, we could fly there in time. But the contract isn't even written. Winsock, it's up to you. Miss Dimple, take a contract. Whereas the party of the first part, hereafter referred to as the party of the second part, shall by these presents make known that we agree... It's almost five. They'll never make it. Well, it looks like the Flegel boys lose the business, C.B. Not so fast, gentlemen. Here's our new contract. Good for you. Congratulations, Mr. Flegel. Thank you, sir. Winsock's the name. Urgent. Flood water rising. Whole town cut off. Have only enough food to last 24 hours. Send coal. Blankets, medical aid, shovels, sandbags. supplies to make you well and music for everyone. Gosh, I never realized all the wonderful 
things that planes did. They're real important. Gee, do you think I could get to be a real pilot? Yes, Roger, you could. But there are many other exciting things to do in aviation. You can build airplanes, or you can service them on the ground. You can be an instrument specialist, a radio operator, or a tower operator, a weather forecaster, or an electrician. Maybe you'd like to be an instructor, or an engineer, a photographer, doctor, or a salesman. No matter what you'd like to do, there's a place for you in aviation. But that's not all aviation is doing for us, Roger. The airplane has changed our ideas about the Earth. We used to think that the people in Europe and Asia lived on the other side of the world, the Eastern Hemisphere. But an air age view shows us that they live on the same side of the world, the Northern half. And we used to have to travel east to get to Europe. But the shortest route is actually to the north. And the airplane lets us travel the shortest way. This is the air age world. It shows the important areas of population in one hemisphere, not more than a day away. Our national security can no longer depend on the protection of mountain and ocean barriers. We must be able to defend ourselves in the air in all directions to protect our continent from air attack. No capital of the world is more than a few hours away by air. And through air travel, peoples of all countries can learn to know each other better. Every day, more and more of our world neighbors can fly to our country in a few short hours to meet us and see how we live. We can visit their countries, too, for business or pleasure. And we can do it even on a two-week vacation. All the wonders of the world are within our reach. We can meet new friends and old ones, too, and see how the people of the Earth live and understand that they are really very much like us. They have jobs to do. They raise families. They like music and good food. And of course, everyone pays taxes just as we do. Their culture can contribute much to our lives and they can become our friends. And so you see, Roger, the airplane has brought us together. The better we know the people of the world, the greater our hope for world peace. The airplane has changed the world. Aviation is helping to develop and protect our resources, speeding up commerce and travel, bringing progress to remote areas, creating new industries and new careers, and providing greater national security. Yes, Roger, the air age is bringing all of us closer together and creating a better world for everyone. Gee. I've got to tell everybody about the air age. And just as before, they laughed. But then they listened some more. And finally, they understood. And that's how the airplane has changed our lives. So you see, I'm no different from any of you. We all have wings. This is the air age.